Hey, what's up fellas? Yes, I'm back. So you've been working at the help desk for a while and now you're ready for something bigger. Maybe you keep hearing about cloud jobs and AWS, but you're not sure how to make the leap. What sort of certifications you need? What skill sets do employers actually look for? And most importantly, is this really a next good step for you? Stick around because I'm going to break down the exact path from help desk to AWS cloud in a way that is realistic, beginner friendly and doable. Are you ready for this? Let's dig. Cloud is not just a buzzword anymore. It's where IT is going. AWS is the market leader and companies are constantly hiring for roles like cloud support, junior cloud admin and cloud operations. If you have been doing help desk, you already have some transferable skills like troubleshooting, user support and working with systems and tickets. That already puts you ahead of the average person who's trying to break into cloud from the scratch. So let's talk about the certification you need for this. If you're brand new to cloud, your first goal should be AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. It is a beginner level certification which teaches you fundamentals like what is EC2, S3, IAM, and billing R, and how they all fit together. But here's the thing, this certification alone will not get you hired, but it does give you the language and the confidence to move forward. Plus, it's very beginner friendly, no coding, no deep networking knowledge required. So which certification gets you job ready? To be job ready, AWS Solutions Architect Associate. This is the one that gets the attention. It teaches you how to design systems in AWS, how to think in terms of an architect, not just clicking buttons. It's a little more technical, but it's still within reach if you've got basic IT experience. Don't worry, you don't need to be a programmer or a Linux expert to pass. But yes, you will have to study harder and practice more. So what kind of hands-on skills you will need for this? So here's where a lot of people mess up. They pass the certification, but they don't actually learn how to use AWS. You need to get hands-on. Check within your IT department if they can allow you to log in to AWS for practice purpose that would be your best bet say for whatever reason they don't this is what you need to do number one set up a aws free tier account number two launch and secure an ec2 instance number three create iam users and roll number four understand what vpc is and how subnets work this should be the bare minimum you should know there are tons of free resources on youtube check out the link in the description but the absolute gold mine is aws skill builder website guys again practice Practice, practice, practice. Once you've got hands-on practice and your certifications, you can start applying. You need to target the following job titles. Cloud Support Associate, Junior Cloud Administrator, Cloud Operations Support, AWS Infrastructure Technician. Make sure to update your resume to show relevant help desk experience. List your AWS projects, even small ones. Add a GitHub link. Show that you're not just studying your building. So let's recap. Cloud Practitioner Certification to learn the foundation. Solutions Architect Associate to be job ready. Practice on AWS free tier account, not just the theory. Rework your resume and start applying to support level roles. Guys, if you have already worked in help desk for two years, you're not starting from scratch. You're just leveling up your game. Cloud careers are wide open right now and there's a space for people like yourself who are willing to learn and put in some work. Remember, you don't need to be perfect. You just need to be consistent. So that's it, folks. If you find this content helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel so other people in need can find this content. Stay tuned for more IT beginner-friendly content. Until then, see ya.